music production platform on the internet. I said the internet again. You have to check. It. Anyway, the, the largest music production platform, we make dance music.com. We make dance music.com. I'm gonna say it again. We make dance music.com. You have to check it out. Anyway, guys, today this is episode 261. I keep on making music in real time, and of course, after each episode, we make three templates that go on the side. So you have a Logic Pro X template, Ableton template, FL Studio template, and a sample pack. So if you like what I do which today will be like a breakbeat track inspired by like a chord that I found on Logic, just like this. It just sounded good. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make a track out of that. Like this is one of the thing about inspiration, guys. If you follow me, I like to give people advice on how to create because I've been able to optimize my output with time, which like I make tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks. If you see all the templates that I made, if you look all the music that I've released through the years, I seem to have done a lot is because I have a process and this process is simple. I pick one thing and then I really, really focus on it and develop it into an idea and expand around and expand around it. And then when I think it's complete, then I move on to another thing. But I re-simplify not to try to put too many things on top of each other and try to make that cool, you know, I don't know, who's song now, after Jack, I don't know who's hot now, there's some Anyway guys, we're gonna make some break beats, <clears throat> 125 BPM based on a chord that I selected from Logic Forex library. And that's it guys, I'm gonna make some templates of it, if so if you like what's happening. Again, it is real time, I'm not cutting those episodes, it's always real time, so sometimes it's amazing, sometimes it's less amazing, but I always end up doing music guys, so. And one of the ingredients to amazing is coffee. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Good pair of headphones, decent studio to be in. It's a little rough guys, but uh, oh here is the chord. If you want to find it in Logic and you know you want to do the same as I do, 80s dance pad zero one. I've done literally pad. Listen, this one I'm like, this is cool. I'm gonna make a track out of that, you know, like this unison ads you've probably seen before. Uh, you don't need that, there's already plenty in Logic guys, so so I do like this pad. This is a super basic kind of uh, like synth. It's not even a synth, it's just like a sample player kind of synth thing. So, so I'm gonna make it a little richer. I'm gonna create a sand bus right away. And put my reverb on there, silver verb. Uh, Seems to be small. This okay. I'm going to Claudio's. A little bit more top end. I'm wondering which I, if I'm gonna start with the bass or the drums, and I think I'll go, I'll go with the bass. I'm gonna take the lower part of the chords here. Make, make something else with it than what it is. Obviously, I'm gonna go lower. So, I'm gonna try to make a little bit of a bass sequence. Try 
chunky, something breakbeaty a little bit. Okay, I think I think we have the bass. Let's drop a kick in there. Definitely more complexity in the percussions a little bit later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the kick and of course the snare separately because they definitely don't belong together. <clears throat> Not in the same channel to the mix and, and many other things, of course. Now I can remove this one here. go and drop it an octave. Remix immediately the track, the pad is way too loud, the bass is way too loud. The pad is definitely very overwhelming, so I'm gonna drop it. So some juice. Other snares. Not really. A more clappy kind of thing. This one is good. Snappy. I would hear right away like some kind of a delay on this bass line. I don't know if there's a delay on this preset. Something that's a bit whirly, swirly kind of wrong. Hit them. Mm, there's, some, whoop, there's something here that doesn't see this. This I think would be better here. It's, because now the beat is in, so it completely changed the context of the bass. That's why I'm going back. So I think it would be better. is better it's more symmetrical and the timing is, is is better it's more it's groovier I would say I would like to right away sidechain this to the kick the instrument kick electric pop Sudden. Weird because the input is not so loud, but I'm gonna put the input gain a little bit so I have a little bit more compression. Oh, the makeup is, is a bit higher here. I'm gonna continue a little bit in the percussions here. <coughs> Try to develop the groove a little bit. Of course, some high hats. Feeling some little 
also congas in there. Let's funk it up a little. So what I've done now is I use the conga with the same keys as the rest of the drum. However, I played with the key a little bit. You can hear it. Definitely give a bit more of a feel. I'll send it to a reverb here, like a delay, sorry. Now I'm gonna put an answer to this conga that's supposed to be low. I don't know if it is really low. Let's bring it down. And just an answer, like a simple in between those two here. Drop this here. And then I see some shakers right there, which we need next for sure. I'm not sure what are they gonna be. Oh, this is a nice kit, this one. Electronic pop. I don't know if it's new. I don't remember doing anything with this, so I guess it is new, or at least the last update I did, I downloaded it. Always good. New stuff. I'm gonna check out a little bit of a sample delay here. Give a bit more image. Without, I would say 10 milliseconds. It's a bit loud here. This too is a bit loud here. This shaker I need to go. I want to check to see the root keys here. I would put it down. Uh, maybe not. Then I would really drop it in the back. Take a delay here. Do the design area. Just do like a 16. What I usually do also with my with my shakers and some percussions, depending, is I'm gonna side chain it to the kick again. So, but with maybe with a slower release. So what's gonna happen is when the kick's gonna hit, it's gonna compress and it's gonna stay for a little bit. Higher ratio. Check out my levels here. So you can hear. So basically when the kick hits, it's, it, it compresses and it stays a little bit. I think I can put it even longer. The fast attack. So this is basically, you know, a little side chain trick here on the side. I know you guys are up for learning. Hey! Okay, now, well, I like this pad. I think we can do a lot better than this. The problem I have with this pad mainly is, is like I cannot really modulate it or do anything else with it, which is not ideal. But if I change this for Alchemy, I'm gonna keep the original because I think we'll use the original because it's very breaksy kind of feel. However, if we want to make it a bit richer here, I'm gonna go into Alchemy, I'm going to pads, and I'm gonna randomly just gonna. Ooh, Harvest pad, that's the stuff. Let's see, we harvest something with that. Mm, not so much now. Ooh, that's interesting. Mm, mm, mm. Very breakbeaty. 
No, not really. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this here. I'm gonna replicate it. I'm gonna go into the second part here. I'm gonna literally layer those two together. He doesn't want to copy it. Please copy it. Okay, now. Second alchemy here. I'm gonna change. Like I said earlier, I think if I drop it an octave, hmm, I think I'm gonna do better with something even. Ooh, definitely get a groove now. to make it into a bit more of a track of course I usually like to add a second kick like a bit of a I wouldn't call it a counter kick but you know something that will alternate from the main kick I'm gonna pick here let's see what does this kick sound like first sampler now and I want to make sure I hit the full length of the kick of the sound I have to go here and extend the notes aha that's what's up I'm liking that guys Woof. nice feeling let's see if we bring this pad back just, but let's say, let's bring just the top. Let's filter the heck out of it. Just pick the top. Side chain it. It isn't side chain yet. Again, like a longer release. And then I will funk it up with the multi effect, step effects. I 
like this bass. I like everything in there so far. But I want also a bass pad in there. I want some. And I think I'll make the bass pad out of the other keys. Not those. Not the the bass keys first. I'm just gonna take a pad, drop it. Here and I want like some kind of a pad, but like a more like a brassy pad. I don't know if I should go in brass yet. No, I think I should go into pads. I think it's a bit better pads, but with like a brassy kind of feel. No, oh, my presets are not safe anymore. Shoes. Um, that's gonna be interesting to find. So I don't know if you know what I mean, but uh, we'll, we'll find. Sasha, Sasha esque today somehow. Not what I was looking for, guys, but yeah. Definitely some nice texture to be added to the track. Let's see where is it? Control A, color region by track, name region by tracks. Listen to that. Oh. Definitely send that to the reverb. Do a little trick here. Also, side chain the reverb. Having a blast right now. I have to be honest. I need a sip of coffee. Is, ooh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Now I need a lead, and by a lead I need kind of a bad kind of a lead. This is the way I usually do it. Is I take like kind of a padish thing with a faster attack. Then I I make it into what I am looking for. It's a bit busy in the mix already, so no, no, I'm confident about the they'll bring a nice top lead to this. However, first get there. Get the wrong instance of silent, of silent of alchemy, which happen you know, often when you use alchemy a lot. <coughs> okay, we have the pads here. A little bit higher.
point the sound to drop a lead. But I did it again. No way. No. Didn't change anything. Okay. So I am on the right one. This is I just can't seem to hear what I am playing. to leads guys because it doesn't seem like I'm getting what I'm looking for here. I feel I have to top it up with something very good and it's 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 a tough one to come. It's gonna come. This I used before.
So, because of the complexity of the the the, the chords and everything that is there, I figure out maybe I'm gonna do like a single key lead, and I think it's gonna work better. It was better, not quantized. Quantizable. Okay, now to process this lead into something great to close this episode. time we have for this show thank you very much if you got a second like that episode smash that like button subscribe ring the bell everything go for it and i'll take next time guys may the songs be with you